first, live, local. This is Fox 12 Now. Hello everyone, this is Fox 12 Now. I wanted to give that a shot right there of downtown Portland. Um, looking a little gloomy because there is some rain coming in, but you can follow all along with that, kbtv.com. But one thing you might want to know is that some of those bridges down there may be closed intermittently for some TV and film production that's going to be happening. We have those details on the website as well. Again, I'm Greg Nibbler. Thanks for joining us. We are live here every weekday starting at 1 o'clock, live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, our website, and our apps. So lots of places to find our content and our segments. But TV and film production is returning uh, in mass to Portland and to Oregon in general, to the Northwest. So there's a lot of productions that you're going to be seeing happening around town and something that is going to open up some opportunities for a lot of people. And that may include you if you've ever wanted to be an extra in something like that, in a major TV or film production or even commercials or anything like that. There is a need for it, and we wanted to talk about that. We have Adam Roscoe from Adam and the Backgrounds uh, who joined us. Adam, uh, we actually talked about this during the show. If you've been around Portland for a while, if you remember Trek in the Park, Adam was one of the people behind that, and then we, we discussed his transition into uh, owning Adam and the Backgrounds and working in this industry. And so let's go ahead and, and get into it here. We'll have Adam explain everything right here on Fox 12. Of now. Joining us now from Adam and the Backgrounds, which I have to say, it, it, I love that name, and it does almost <laughs> sound like a, like a 70s band, too, at the same time. Uh, so Adam and the Backgrounds, though, Adam Roscoe, joining us right now. Adam, hello. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me, dude. Um, I, yeah, I do. I seriously love the name. But before we get into all of that, <laughs> let's talk about you. I mean, you have been here involved in Portland productions of all kinds, for a very long time, and let's let's talk about that. Like, how did you get started? You know, in eventually getting down this world to having a casting company for Portland TV and film. Well, I mean, we're such a creative, fun. We love putting on shows, kind of city, and it just started with like doing theater and stuff in town, and um, we did that Star Trek show uh, many many years ago, and you know that just brought creative people into the audience. And some of those people happen to be working on TV shows like Portlandia. And then our Star Trek show was invited to be on that show. And so we developed a relationship with them. And then when it came time that they needed help, they just sort of rang me up and are like, what are you doing? And it was a lot of back and forth in terms of like what I wanted to do or what I could do. Right. And we really just fell into the casting aspect of it and like finding all the like awesome people in town and then finding roles for them. Well, I mean, for anybody who doesn't know, too, I'm sure anybody who's been here for a long uh, for amount of time is aware. But Trek in the Park was absolutely incredible. Um, you may recognize, you know, Captain Kirk, a.k.a. Adam right here. And, <laughs> and the, the, those performances, I mean, they were amazing. And they really did, you know, showcase so much of the city, both, you know, I mean, it's, it's a Star Trek episode that you would recreate in the park. You know, actually, can you give a description for everybody who doesn't know what Trek in the Park was? Just what uh, was. Elevator pitch, it would be just uh, like Shakespeare in the Park kind of idea, but with classic Star Trek episodes, uh, full script, full music, full uh, props, but you know, very, very simple and fun. And it was free and all the families and uh, a lot of the city came to check it out. So it was a lot yeah. of fun. It was a huge phenomenon. I mean, and it was amazing. And you did did that for a few summers there and having that out there. So that that does probably, you know, bring in a lot of aspects, I think, of Portland, of that artistic side of the community is, you know, you've got Star yeah. Trek, you've got acting, you've got props, you've got musicians, and then just the audience. So bringing all that together, I guess that does kind of make sense how one would then transition into, um, you know, being called up to help out with some of these other projects like Portlandia. Yeah. And I mean, it's also not just me, but like other creatives in the city, uh, whether they're costumers or prop people or they're my cat just wandering past my camera here. Uh, <laughs> the... The, these people, they then worked in film, like all the crews that are here, I would say 90% of them are people that are from here, that live here. And it's all the, the creative stuff that they worked on before. And now, you know, we all had to get a real job at some point. So, <laughs> right. Well, do you find that it's a pretty tight knit community here in Portland when it comes to the artistic side of whether it's acting, whether it's music, whether it's production, anything or casting? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's very tight knit. Everyone's friends. Um, we're too small, I feel, to have like 
really terrible egos and bad blood between anybody. Like they're just too small to have that. And like, there's no room for it here. And so everyone just, we really collaborate and you can see that in the, the product that you see on TV or, you know, on, in film that stuff that comes from here. So yeah, man. Well, looking at TV and film over the last few years, obviously the pandemic put a stop to a lot of things, but how has it, how has the Portland and TV and film industry, I guess I keep saying Portland TV and film, but how has the film and TV industry here in Portland recovered or bounced back over these last few years since the pandemic? We, we were one of the first shows to come back, the first narrative shows to come back. And we, for the pandemic, we were creating some of the protocols and stuff to get people back to work and back on set. Um, and some of that stuff, like I'm really proud of that we were able to do that and keep people working. And now that we're post pandemic, but also now we're post strike, uh, we, we are roaring back. I mean, outside of, for like the smaller markets that aren't New York and LA, we are one of the biggest right now. We're one of the busiest. And that's really, like, was very unexpected, but we're ready. We, we, we're hungry for it. And it's been a lot of fun this year. What do you think it is about Portland that's bringing so many productions here to this city? Well, I think we have the geography, obviously. Like, we, are, we can get any kind of geography about an hour's drive. And not only that, but, like, I was, I was at the airport the other day, and there's a walkway of all the posters of films that were made in Oregon. And, like, pound for pound, the ones that are made here are, like, really good. <laughs> we, we tend to make, like, good movies here. So I think people, and people love filming here. Like, the people that are not from here, they're charmed by the city, they're charmed by the geography, and we kill it. Well, and, and that's, you're right. I mean, there's been a lot of really great productions that have been here. And so all of these ones are coming. And I want to talk about some of that, which is coming up. But before we get into that, let's go back to Adam in the background. So specifically your company, Backgrounds, can you just explain what it is that, that you do? Well, it's, it's pretty much just uh, extras casting. Um, and with that, it's anyone and everyone can and should sign up because the needs for the various TV shows and films, it's all over the place you never know what we might need what kind of specific thing and to be able to like find people in the community and offer them not only a job but also a really fun job uh that's really satisfying and like one thing that that is important to me is people that register they can either like if it's their favorite show or they're just like curious it's just a fun thing to do on set but we want to grow the community as well so if you're curious about like actually working in the film industry here, it's a great um, gateway. Uh, you have a low stress job and you can just observe and, you know, watch a crew member, you know, what, watch what the costumer does, watch what a sound person does. And, you know, if you're reliable and have a good attitude about it, it's an easy way to get into this industry. Um, and for the actors and stuff, I always say like, you know, it's not, it's not stage. It's not anything like you've done before. Like it's a chaotic environment. So, you know, when, after you've done some extras roles and you finally do book that big role, uh, 50 people in cargo shorts staring at you doesn't phase you. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, and, and to that extent too, you know, for someone out there, maybe who has no acting experience and, and hasn't done something like that before, what can they expect going through this extras experience? What is it, what is it like to be an extra on set? It's fun to be part, it, it's really organized chaos, and it's a lot of fun to just be around. Like, the energy is just very, very fun. And to just for a day or two to be a part of that, 99.9% um, of the time, people will email me later, just like, it was such a satisfying, awesome, full day. You know, maybe they made friends, or maybe they saw something really, really cool, or, you know, got bitten by the bug in some sort of way. Like, that's that's the best part. And you and you don't need any of that experience to to do this. Like this is no. something you could walk in and yeah. somebody will just tell you like, hey, you're gonna be walking through this scene, or you know, mm -hmm. you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting here eating lunch or something like that. Absolutely. You'll be in good hands, that's for sure. And um yeah, as long as you can show up on time and you come in with a great attitude, it's gonna be an easy day for you. 
Well, mentioning you know growing this this scene here, and just because of the need, let's talk about some of those productions. I don't know what you can tell us as far as what's <laughs> coming into town, um, but just if there are if there is anything, or maybe even an idea, what can we expect here this summer? I mean, exciting and or fantastic stuff is coming, and it's it's awesome. Uh, we have a few films, like two of which I can't even talk about because they're so cool. Like, uh, it, it would cause a frenzy, I guess. But um, another one that's really huge that I'm very, very, very excited about is uh, from Amazon, and it's called Criminal, and it's based off the comic book by Sean Phillips and Ed Brubaker, and they're adapting that show, and it's going to be... Um, it's going to need everyone. Like, I, I hope that if the show goes on and on and on, like, it'll be like a like how we had Grimm, where we just involved the community so much. I'm right. really looking forward to it. That's great. And that's starting this summer. That's starting this summer. And uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be going all summer. So there'll be plenty of opportunities to join in. And there's a huge amount of variety of what we're going to need. So be sure to sign up if you haven't already. Yeah, so this is, you know, again, something everybody watching, if you're within this, this region, this area, you could have an opportunity to, to be on one of these, to be a part of one of these, yeah. or be an extra in there. And, and it's not just um, the, the individual shows. I mean, we do commercials, we do one-off things. Like there's, you know, there's Nike projects and whatever. And so it, one thing I do want to mention, if you do register with me, it, you're, you're put in for all of it. It's not just specific shows. So that, there you go. So you'd be being submitted to, to every one of these things. So what is it like mm -hmm. going through, what does it take, I guess, to register? Uh, just it's really easy application process. Adam in the backgrounds.com right at the top banner. It'll say sign up. And the one thing I will suggest that really helps is fill it out as thoroughly as you can with every language you speak or talent that you have or whatever zany thing that you can do. Please put it down because you never know what we'll need. And you might just be like the exact person. That's that's a bit yeah. I can only imagine what some of the requests are that you get from some of the production companies for for these things, um, and, but that's because of that you know wide variety, wide variety mm -hmm. of what it is that people are looking for. What do you think is the number one peer, what what is the number one thing somebody should know if they're being an extra for the first time when they get onto the set? Be a sponge. Um, let 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 the show take over and yeah, just be present. Be present, uh, pay attention, and I promise you will have an amazing day. Perfect. Well, Adam, anything else that you think people should know about? Um, just, I would love to have you register. I'd love to involve as many people as I can uh, this summer and to include them on these shows. It's going to be, it's historic how many shows are happening right now. It's pretty awesome. And I know, and I wish you could just, I wish you could tell me what some of the other ones are, but we'll find out, we'll find out soon enough at some point. Absolutely. Um, what's the website, again, for people to go to? Adamandthebackgrounds.com. There we go. So nice and easy. You can go there, register, and maybe be a part of, uh, part of one of these film and TV shows that are going to be here in, uh, in the Portland area. So pretty cool. All right, well, Adam, thank you so much. It's, it's always so good to talk to you. And, uh, you know, congratulations on this, too, making the transition from what you were doing into having a, product, you know, a casting agency here in town. That's, <laughs> that's really incredible. Crazy. All right, huge thank you to Adam uh, and uh, for joining us here, you know, for Fox 12 Now. So really, really appreciate that. And, you know, like you said, go check that out. You may get to be a part of one of those productions. If you've never done it before, it is a lot of fun to just see how, how a production like that, something, something of that scale works, whatever it is that you may be going to. And, um, yeah, I, I would recommend that experience myself. But thanks for joining us again. This is Fox 12 Now. We live stream here every weekday. If you ever have an idea for a segment, please feel free to reach out. We are live here from the Fox 12 Oregon newsroom. You can send me an email, fox12now, fox12now at kptv.com. That's fox12now at kptv.com. Let me know uh, what you're thinking about, and uh, we'll see if we can maybe make something happen. I always appreciate hearing from people, uh, whatever it is, whether you think about our segments or whether you have an idea for a segment, all of that, feel free to reach out. But we'll take a break for right now. I'm Greg Nibbler. This is Fox 12 Now.